Hey y'all, welcome to this short talk today for import multiple scans with recap 2023.1. So this update came out about three weeks ago. And with this update, we're seeing some new features. One of them is ground classification, automatic ground classification. And one other thing that's pretty cool is uh, we can import multiple scans at the same time. So if you ever had a project with a lot of scans, it takes a long time to import and index those scans. And you see them go one by one by one. Now it'll use uh, what's called multi-threading and it'll do the scans at the same time. So reducing times uh, when creating those projects. So let's bounce into recap and let's take, uh, let's take this, new, uh, this new feature for a drive. All right, recap 2023. And just when you crack this open here, you can disable this welcome menu, but right here, take a look at faster import. Recap now leverages multi-threading to import index multiple raw scans in parallel to improve performance. All right, so let, let's uh, create a new project and let's, uh, let's see how this works. All right, new project here on the top left, import point cloud. And we'll just call this, um, oh, we'll just call it vid, I suppose. And we're gonna say select our files to import. So just for time's sakes, I'm just gonna grab these. I just have four scans. So we're just gonna, instead of doing 80 of them or something crazy, we're just gonna do these four. All right, so grab these four. And I'm gonna move myself over here. And we're going to go ahead and import our files right here. And notice right away, we're importing more than one at the same time. So wait for this to run through here. So we'll see how long it should take us. So I haven't tested it side by side with previous, but it definitely, it's definitely faster when I was creating this, when I was creating this project as a whole. All right. So we got three of our scans done. So we're just waiting on that last one here. All right, moving along, moving along. All right. Just waiting on that last one. I suppose we can go ahead and start at the indexing. All right, just waiting on that last one. 83% complete. All right, come on, recap. Don't fail me now. And we could launch the project right now, but we'll just we'll let it do its thing and get get its uh get its indexing done. So we're at eighty seven percent, so move it along here. All right. Chucking along here. And keep in mind multi threading is gonna be dependent on your machine too, so how many how much multi-threading can your machine handle? So one thing when I was seeing this update, it made me think is what's the what's the upper threshold for how far we can push this? And so when I say that is we have a giant project, or, you know, giant, say that's always relative, but say you have like 200 scans or something like that, and you have it on a computer that can really handle the multi-threading versus, uh, more of a you know, more of a baseline machine. Uh, so, like for example, my machines, uh, I, I have a laptop connected to desktops and dock stations, so it's not exactly a uh, a race car uh, for this process. So, but one thing that makes me more, what makes me think is how long, what's the what's the performance increase uh, from machine to machine? All right, here we go. We're at ninety one percent. And let's see, is that scan number five? I'm just curious here. So, uh huh. And so, scan number five actually isn't the biggest one in size. So, it's not like it's drastically large or anything like that. All right, waiting for it to chug along here. We're at 91. Do we have a 92? And what we'll do is we'll just wait for this to complete and we'll go ahead and launch our project. But bottom line from this video is we're seeing multiple scans um, import index at the same time. So it's uh, pretty cool to see that. Uh, I know I've been, been working working with you all over the years. There's one thing that's been uh, been asked about, why can't, why does it only do one at a time? And part of it's really just that multi-threading aspect, getting that to work. And I know that can be a bit challenging from development's perspective. So it's really cool to see that they've uh, taken they've taken it in this direction based on the uh, based on the feedback over the years.
All right, are you gonna go? <laughs> Let's see here. All right, now we're almost done, 100%. All right, 100% complete. We'll go ahead and launch our project. All right, so obviously a broken model a little bit, but uh, I didn't bring in didn't bring in every single file just for just for time sake purposes. But uh, hey, hopefully you saw thought this live demo cool, and we got to see multiple scans, uh, import, and index at the same time. So pretty cool to see the direction recaps recaps going in, and uh, stay tuned for more videos uh, uh, with uh, recaps, civil 3D and 4 and all things all things all things infrastructure and all of that. Appreciate the time.